so guys our uh, today's question is uh, okay write a program to generate a random prime number so how we can write a program to generate a random number we will see that thing so uh, first of all uh, before uh, going to the coding part we need to understand that uh, what is the actual prime number prime number uh, may be any number which can divide by itself and one only that number will be called prime number okay so now let's come to the coding part let's write a class let's say class packet and class inside that just declare some variable like uh, rand bit let's take any variable width so i'm taking uh, 5 bit so 4 down to 0 that is a and just write a, write a task let's say task print and task inside that dollar display inside that we can write a is equal to percentile b or we can write percentile d a right now for such type of question we, uh, we need to use constraints right so uh, now we will use some constraints so constraint let's say constraint name is c1 after that braces and inside that so we can write our constraint so first of all the number is one so one is not a prime number okay always remember so we can write a should not equal to one this is the one thing now we need to use if else ladder right so if let's say a double is equal to two so in such case the a should is equal to 2 else a modulus 2 should not equal to 0 so what is the mean of that it means if randomly the value of a generated is 2 that is okay because 2 is a prime number but let's say it is 4 and 4 modulus 2 so what will be the result the uh, it will be uh, divide completely and modulus give 0 as a remainder right so it should not be 0 if it is 0 then it will not a prime number right let's say the value of a is 3 then uh, when uh, divide by 2 so 1 be the remainder right so modulus always give the remainder so remainder will be 1 that is not equal to 0 right so in such way we will see that 3 is a prime number right again we can write if a double is equal to 3 then it is okay so a may be equal to 3 actually i think uh, it is okay we always remember uh, inside constraint we always use double is equal to sign here also right in normal if else we uh, need to use only a single equal to but inside constraint we always use double is equal to <coughs> that is the new learning is equal to 3 right else uh, we can write uh, a mod 3 should not equal to 0 right now again if
a is equal to 5 <coughs> then it is okay so a may be equal to 5 else a modulus five should not equal to five right this is the condition so we have written the condition for a is equal to two a is equal to three a is equal to five now uh, the last one will be a is equal to seven so if A is equal to 7, then keep it as A is equal to 7. Else, A modulus 7 should not equal to 0. That is it. So, we have done with the class part. Now, we have to write the module top. So, that is a module top <coughs> and module uh, inside that packet handle name is let us say PKT and uh, after that we can use initial begin. Shall begin and inside that first of all packet is equal to new and uh, after that let us say we, we need to generate uh, 10 random numbers so we can use repeat so repeat 10 begin and inside that we can write like uh, pkt dot randomize and after that we can call the print method so pkt dot print so till now what we have done uh, we have written class over here and inside class we already mentioned a print mechanism a print method which is a task actually and inside the module to first of all we are creating the handle so our uh, uh, class name is packet as we can see over here class name is packet and let's say the handle name is pkt you can take any handle name after initial begin because initial uh, will initialize the thing only once right initial block so inside initial uh, block first of all the object creation so pkt is equal to new that means we are allocating some memory uh, for this handle pkt after that repeat 10 means whatever we are uh, writing inside the repeat loop so it will uh, because we have part 10 over here so uh, it will uh, done all these inside things 10 times from 0 to 9 actually and here i am calling this handle that is pkt pkt dot randomize that means i am talking about this class and here we have declared a variable a as the rand keyword with the rand keyword so it will randomize up to 10 times actually and after that i am calling pkt dot print so what is pkt pkt is nothing but the handle of our packet class so here you can see uh, inside the packet class there is something print so i am calling actually this task inside the top module and this task consists a dollar display method so it will print the value of a up to 10 times right because it is inside the repeat loop so now let's check this code okay
So, uh, this is our output a is equal to 19 uh, uh, which is obviously a prime number and a is 11, 17, 29, 23, 7, 3, 2, 11 and 19. So, you can count it is uh, printing up to 10 times. In somehow if uh, let us say you want to generate uh, the random numbers up to 20 times. So, you can write here 20 simply and uh, it will generate up to 20 times. you can count so it will print it will printing up to 20 times so guys this question has been asked in xilinx xilinx hyderabad so they have asked this question in their written test so uh, please uh, follow our youtube channels for more information and for such uh, informational videos thank you